hang outside many schools and you'll see young people smoking. Everyone knows cigarettes aren't good for you, so why do they smoke? The kids at Nystrom Elementary School in Richmond checked it out and then started a campaign to sell people on not smoking. The number one killer drug is tobacco. This is a picture of a man with a motorcycle. Our art class is trying to uglify cigarettes, but the company is trying to glamorize. It says cool because the company wants you to think that when you grow up it will be cool to smoke. We make the we make the marble old man into the marble old man. And, and we make it come to where the flavor is, come to where the cancer is. As you can see, he is throwing up. And he came to where the cancer is. You might think that all the ads that make smoking seem cool or sexy are aimed at adults. But the fact is, companies try to get kids interested in smoking as well. Ever buy a pack of candy cigarettes? They shouldn't make cigarettes like these because when children are little, they smoke them. And as they grow older, they start thinking it's cool and fancy and glamorous. They're trying to make the little kids smoke the cigarettes so it can have cancer like the big kids. It's pretty easy to block out thinking about the dangers down the road till you see firsthand what smoking really does to the body. The normal lungs is our lungs that we breathe. The second one is from when people start to smoke and they start breathing more fast, faster. And the third one is cancer when they have when they have smoked too much and they start to breathe faster. And then after a while they die. Does anybody have a, a relative Me. that takes a Gosh, walks upstairs Me. or does picks Me. up something Me. and afterwards Me. is out of breath? I got a, I got a My mama like that. She said she got emphysema. That's what she said. And when she walk up the stairs or she might um, do something around the house for just a minute or something, she'd be breathing hard, always tired and stuff like that. And she'd been smoking for a long time, too. So who do you get angry at? I get angry at the companies, and I, I get, sometimes I get angry at her for keep smoking. But I know she can't help it sometimes. The people who's making the cigarettes, they don't care about you. All they care about is the money that they want. They don't care about your body and your health and that you can die. They just want the money and make more and just keep on getting money. What about the kids in Doug the, uh, Minkler's class put their imaginations to work to combat all the okay, posters and billboards on. making smoking look fresh. They created a poster series to do the opposite. We're going to make some slides out of these. We're going to send them to this association called Doctors Out of Care so that they can... Uh, and hope that um, they send them, send them to different places so that people will see what um, cigarettes really do to you. These posters have beautiful color and design, don't, don't but the stop. images of the Barfboro Man and Virginia Slime are enough to make anyone think twice about putting smoke in their lungs. They're working on sending the poster exhibit on a national tour sponsored by doctors, and they hope to turn some of the pictures into full-size billboards. But the posters aren't the only way they're getting their message across. <laughs> well, I'm Mac D, I don't just need Cigarettes are bad for you and me. It's bad for your lungs and bad for your health. And that ain't all. Oh, let me tell you something else. Smoking is so bad, it can cause you death. I know this man, he's in Barfboro land. But all they sell is drugs. They don't care about your life, they just want your money. <laughs> Well, I'm the deaf, I'm all by myself. You shouldn't puff a cigarette because it's bad for you. You might be a good singer or a good dancer, but you smoke a new Porsche could cause you cancer. Richmond kids spreading the word and not the smoke. The police don't smoke and live a long life without cancer.